Hi everyone, coming on with another project Halloween based again and we have got this lovely little treat pack um, for your Halloween treats. You could maybe put a few lollipops in or the little parma violets, um, love hearts, those type of things. You would fit a few in there or maybe even just a nice bar of chocolate. It's up to you. But I've come on to show you how I've done it. Um, really, really simple. Um, no glue. Oh, excuse me. No glue required. Um, and it's a six by six sheet of paper. Super simple. So you can get four out of twelve by twelve pack. Sorry, four out of twelve by twelve sheet. Right, so I have pre-scored it because my hands are a bit sore today and trying to burnish things is a bit difficult. So I have pre-scored it, but I'm going to take you through it step by step so you can do it too. So you get your six by six sheet of paper and you take your corner to the other corner. Okay, so that's our first fold. And then you burnish it. And I'm only doing this lightly just so you can see the action. But you just make sure it's done really firmly. Put quite a lot of pressure to make sure that that's crisp. That's really important. Then what you're going to do is take it so that it looks like a triangle. The smallest point to the top. And you're going to take this corner here. And bring it over okay now you're going to make sure that it's on a straight you don't want it wonky because it'll just look silly and then you're going to really hardly burnish that again make sure it's really crisp and tight okay then you've got this one do the exact same bring it over corner to corner okay so you're bringing that up to that edge there and then just do the exact same again, burnish it really well. Then you've got this bit up here. So you've got two flaps. What you're going to do is the top flap, you're going to bring that over. In fact, it's that way. It won't matter, but it's just because I've folded it previously. And um, that's how it was sitting. So you bring that over and bring it down so it covers your under. So you get this line here from the underside. So you want that to cover it. Okay. And you give that a good burnish again. And that should be basic done. Then all you're needing to do is just shape it a little bit. And that's it simply done. And then you can embellish it. Now I've chose the No Tricks Just Treats from the, I think it's Spooky Sweets. Yeah, that one here I chose. And the hat I cut out of the DSP, which I will do again. So let me just grab a sheet of DSP with the hat on it. There we go, there's one there. And I think we'll go for this one that kind of matches the colour theme. We'll just cut it from the bottom. Now there is a die to cut this out, easily to use, but I'm just going to fussy cut it because it's not a difficult cut. Um, even though my hands are a bit sore, it's um, quite a simple cut. I'm just going along and they tell you move the paper, not the scissors. Don't know whether I would do that or not. I just do my own thing. I'm 
excuse the voice, is my 12 year old is home today um, which he has been at my mum's most of the summer but we are in back to school routine mode so he's home this weekend so he can get into a bedtime routine again and he's playing Fortnite and causing me him so we've got that there um, I'm filming so we've got that there and let me just pull out Mm, do, I? do you know what? I think I might actually use this. Did st uh, stamp these out earlier, and it's the ghosts. Now there is a die for this as well, but rather than pull, pull my die cutter out, I'm just going to fussy cut it out, and I'm giving it a wee border just to make it a little bit easier on me. Yeah, I prefer that. Right, and then we need the sentiment. Okay, so I'm going to take this and what sentiment do we want? Uh, spooky sweets, I think. Take my block and I'm going to use my Versafine because I prefer that. Each to their own. This is just my go to sentiment ink. And I'm just going to stamp that down. And this is the Shimmer White cardstock. Don't care, it's not straight. I am cutting it out anyway. So just. Cut it out like that. And then I'll just eyeball it to cut it out by hand. So just see how that is. That's not bad. Right. And I think I'll back that on black. So just turn that over. I just hope it's dry. A little bit of tombow. Turn that over and stick it on like that. I'm just going to try and, oops, got a glue leak under there. I'll just take that away and we'll just turn that down. because I was a bit short round the other sides that's better and I'm going to put that up in dimensionals if 
So we'll just turn that over. A couple of dimensionals. And what I'm going to do is bring it down so that it's on the flap and it will just hold that flap down a wee bit more securely maybe. Then I am going to have my little ghosty up on a dimensional too. Just have him in the central area. And that's it. That's where little treat pouch is done. You could add one Castella to him if you wanted, but with the sparkle of the shimmer paper, if that'll show. There you go. You can see it there shimmering. So it's not really needed. And it matches with the DSP as well, which is pretty cool. Um, and I'm not worried about the ghosts being upside down, really. Kids aren't going to care. They just want their treats. But it's in a nice wee pouch. So I hope that that's gave you a wee insight. Um, I have made a few other ones this week um, that I have already put the videos up for. So we've got the little gift cards holders. Um, I have got money wallets and I've actually just made the envelope for them just using my envelope punch board so I've got that one Oops. and we've got that one there so it's easy enough just to make these little treat pouches and gifts cards and just so that Halloween's a bit more special, a bit more decorative. So I hope you've enjoyed that and I will speak to you all soon. Bye for now.